OK, um, welcome to um, this week's lab. So this week, we will learn that how uh, we can use Tableau to create maps. So we will all get familiar with the map functions in Tableau. And we all learn that how we can create maps in Tableau by using the addresses and also by using the spatial data. We also will use a map box so that uh, we will generate some nice base maps and we'll integrate the map base maps from Mapbox into Tableau. OK, so first, let's download some data uh, for this uh, week's lab. So uh, the first data is um, the gun violence data from the gun violence archive. Uh, so this website contains the number of people being killed or injured uh, because of mass shootings in the United States. Uh, so let's go to reports. And right now, I, you can see that the latest report is in 2019. So let's click that report. Uh, so this is the, uh, the data set that contains the state, city, and also address, so, and also number of people being killed and also injured, and also date. OK, so uh, we can use Tableau to visualize such type of data. So let's download the CSV file, OK, and download. So that will be downloaded into our local computer. Next, let's download some spatial data. So first, let's download um, the data from sensors. So uh, hopefully you're all, familiar, you're all familiar with the sensors website. So that is the one that probably is uh, one of the most uh, popular data resource. So let's first download some non-spatial data. So let's say we are looking for the population. OK. And let's choose, you can see there are a lot of population data. So let's choose a total population. Um, let's add a filter because we want the population for each single state, for all the states. So let's go to filter, geography, and we want state level, and we want all states. OK, so let's clear or let's hide the filter. So now we can see we have the population for all the state. Uh, we just want the total population. So let's just check the total population. And now you can see we have the population for each single state. And also we have the margin error, which um, actually uh, we don't have a margin error. So those just um, stars. And now let's download this table. So let's hit download, select this one and see download the selected. Uh, remember that we just need one year, that is 2019. OK, so that you can see we will download one CSV file that has a mental data, one CSV file that has a data, and one text file. OK, so that's that have the, uh, the, the table title. OK, CSV file. And let's hit download. OK, download now. OK, so that one has been downloaded into our local computer. So that is the zip file. And now let's download the shape file. So the shape file is the most common data format for the spatial data. So if you are a student in geography, so you will, and also if you are using ArcGIS, uh, you will see the, the shape file a lot. So now Tableau also support a shape file, so which is pretty nice. So let's go still download the 2019 data. Uh, let's use a web interface. And we are going to use download data for the state. So make sure that we are using the same um, uh, geographic um, scale. So that is state. And let's hit submit. So that will also give us a zip file. OK, so right now we have downloaded uh, three files. OK, so that is the CSV file that contains the the mass route information, which is uh, uh, which contains the addresses. OK, and this one is the zip file that contains population. So uh, you may need to unzip this file. And here I'm using the seven zip, so, so which is a free uh, tool. You can unzip the, zip, the file. Or you can just simply double click and also copy these files outside of those zipped folders. So depending on your computer and also your 
operating system. So, uh, so here I'm going to use 7-zip, okay, and to extract data. Okay, so now you can see here in this extracted folder, uh, we have three files, and this is the data, this is the mental data, and this is the table title. All right, so now I'm going to delete this zip file that containing the non-spatial data, which is the population. And this zip file contains the shape files. So let's not touch or unzip this one, okay? Because uh, a Tableau can recognize this zipped shape files. So let's just keep that one as it is. Uh, as always, let's move this one to our uh, lab folder. So we are going to keep everything in one drive folder. And this is lab six. Okay, so let's put everything here. Again, we have this CSV file that has uh, the mass routing data from the gun violence archive that contains the addresses of those events. Uh, we have this folder that contains three files and actually we're just looking at this population data for all the states which is downloaded from the sensors website. Uh, we have this zip file, so actually that is a file that contains uh, multiple ship files. And that is also downloaded from sensors, actually, so that is a Tiger prop product that is a ship file. Okay, so now we have all the data ready. This is the spatial data, and this is just a, a normal uh, address data. Okay, so non-spatial data, but we, are, we can also create a map based on those addresses. Lastly, before I go to Tableau, I also want to introduce a Mapbox. So Mapbox is also a very popular service that allow you to create base maps and also allow you to host the base maps. So if this is your first time to use Mapbox, so you need to create an account. Okay, so we just need to use the free account uh, for this lab. So once you created your account, uh, you need to verify your email, etc. And um, we let's log in with your account that you created. So I just create this one. Okay. And once we logged in, and remember that um, we are still in the free uh, range, so that uh, you can see if you go beyond uh, the free code, okay, and uh, you may need to pay for the service. However, for this lab, so we will definitely not go beyond uh, those um, number requests that in the free range, so we should be fine. Okay, so once we logged in and let's create our first uh, base map, so let's start by designing a map. Okay, and let's see here, I don't have any maps yet, and we can create a new style, so or you can upload a style. So the new style is just means that we are going to create a map um, of uh, from um, uh, from a scratch. So that uh, if you are familiar with Mapbox, and feel free to do that. So however, here I just want to use some existing maps. So let's find out some existing maps. Okay, so here, so if you are not familiar with Mapbox, you can start from here. Uh, you can choose the one that you like. Okay, uh, so let's just choose the first one. Okay, uh, it, it's called decimal style. So let's explore the decimal styles. Okay, and it looks like pretty cool. I mean, if you zoom out, you can see it for different states. If you zoom in, you can see the streets. Okay. I think this one is pretty cool, so I'm going to add this decimal to my account. Okay, so now if we go to the map box studio and um, we can publish this one. Okay, so let's publish this. Okay, so now we have a new uh, style that being created and so being published, and that is within our account, which means that we can share this one. So let's click share. Okay, and you can make it public, etc. Or we can share this one with a third party. So let's say third party. 
and now you can see Tableau is one. Okay, so this URL. Okay, so let's leave it here. Okay, so let's leave it here and um, let's now start Tableau. Okay, so we started the Tableau desktop and you can see our previous labs are here. Um, so first, let's create a map um, by using the the addresses. So let's load the gone violence data into Tableau, which is a CSV file. And on Tableau, CSV file is considered text file. So let's click text file and go to our OneDrive folder. OK, and now you can see this file that is uh, downloaded from gone, uh, gone violence archive. Let's open it. Okay, and you can see it's very nice that in Tableau that states and also cities are recognized as uh, states and also cities. Okay, uh, we also have the address, um, but we will not need that. Uh, and the instant date, you can see that also being converted, recognized as the date format, which is also nice. Uh, we have the number of people being killed, so let's remove the hashtag. Um, and we also have number of people being injured uh, in each instant. Okay, uh, let's also remove the hashtag. Uh, the operations, so let's hide that one because there's nothing in this column. Okay, and we also have the instant ID. Okay, so you can see Tableau did a great job that in recognizing the spatial data. And if now we go to the sheet, Okay, and also you can see instant ID is also recognized as um, um, dimensions. And also we have a hierarchy where we have state and also city. And if you remember that in one of our previous labs that by creating hierarchy, we can reduce the date uncertainty. So because there might be some city names, they belong to different states, okay? So by creating this hierarchy, and we know that which exact state those cities belong to. All right, now let's create a map. So let's first click the cities. And let's create a proportional map, proportional symbol map. Okay, and we can see those dots that at cities. And because we have this hierarchy, so if we uh, go back to state, and we have the location of the state. We also see there are several unknown data. So if you go to edit locations, and you all know that that is because um, um, OK, I am not sure why they are not recognized. But uh, since those are just uh, nine cities, so there are several ways you can resolve this issue. Uh, so probably the, uh, you can just double click, okay, you can uh, type the latitude, longitude of this city, but for example, you can Google that, okay, or you can go to map, okay, and you can use a different uh, geocoding um, system so that if that one is better than the default one in Tableau, okay, so there are several ways to resolve those issues. However, to simplify our lab, let's just uh, filled out those data. Okay, and the next, so now we can visualize those quantities. So for example, uh, let's say we want to see the number of injuries at the city level. So we can drag injuries. We can either put that one into color or we can put that one into size. Okay, so in this case, I think size probably better. Okay. Um, and you can move, make that one a little bit bigger if you like. And you can also change the color of those size. Um, so for example, I can use that one to show the number of the injuries at different cities. And we can see Chicago has a lot of injuries. OK. And we can also try different map uh, functions, for example, here we can change the background map that right now uh, in de default in Tableau. So for example, if I choose, let's see what is uh, normal. Okay, and you can see if you like dark, 
Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, um, and also you can try the others. Uh, so let's just use normal. And we can also try the other, like see here, uh, we can try the layers. Okay, so you can add different um, feature layers. For example, you can add to the uh, area labels. Okay, those numbers. And uh, you can also add cities. Okay, so some layers will be available so if you zoom in to a very large scale so for example the street okay so if you zoom in at a larger scale you will be able to see the streets okay so that is a map layer uh, we can also change the map options okay so for example we can show the map scale okay and you can choose a unit Okay, and uh, you can see that when you zoom in, the scale will be updated. That is pretty nice. Okay, um, and finally, so uh, remember that we can also create some animations. So for example, we have the, the date of each instant. So if we drag the, the date into pages, pages, okay, and uh, we can change the intervals. So for example, let's say we look at the week number, so different week. And now let's change the speed of the video and now we can display. Okay, so now you can see that uh, on each week, so the instance. Okay, and you can choose whether or not to show the story. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, use. Uh, so that is a very simple uh, map. Here we are using the address, or not address. Uh, yeah, based on the non-spatial information, we created some uh, very nice map. All right, let's move on. Okay. Uh, so this time, let's say we want to see the number of deaths at the city level. So let's drag city. Okay. And this time, let's put killed uh, into the map. But we are going to create a density map. OK, uh, we also have some unknown uh, issues. So let's just fill out those data. OK, so that's the density map. So that means when you zoom out, uh, you will see a, a more general pattern. And when you zoom in, and you will see where are those um, instances. Okay, and let's also change the color. Okay, um, so let's say let's change to density gold dark color. Okay, so this is my uh, uh, choice. Um, you can also choose your your. Um, if you don't like this one, you can choose different type of colors. All right, so that the density map. And here, let's say we want to include our background map from the map box. So let's go to the map box. Let's copy this URL. And now let's go to um, Tableau map. So here you can see we can add a map box map. So let's um, paste the URL and you can give it a name. So let's use my map box. And we'll click OK. All right, so now you can see we just loaded the base map into our Tableau. So if you zoom in, OK, and you can see the base map that we just created. Actually, we copied from other ones, OK, onto this um, to this visualization. OK, so that's pretty cool. All right, so that is creating map from those uh, with those non-spatial data. So next, let's create a map that uh, with spatial data. So let's create a new sheet. OK, so theoretically, you can just drag the new data here. And also you can join uh, those two tables together, let's say based on the state name. Um, but here, I just also want to show you that how we can add different data resources. So if we go to data, and you can see here we can click new data source. Okay, 
And now let's say we want to select the spatial data. And so we select the zip file. Remember that Tableau can recognize uh, a spatial data in a zip file. So you can say for spatial data, they can you can use uh, GeoJSON, KML, um, ship file, etc., and also zipped file. Okay, so let's just click the zip file, open it. Okay, so now you can see the zip file has been recognized uh, where we have this geometric columns so that we have polygons. Okay, and we can also use this zip file to combine or to join the other type of the data. So you can use zip file to join another zip file. Uh, you can use this zip file to join other non-spatial data. So for example, here, we want to use this zip file to join the population data we downloaded from sensors. OK, remember that the data is on this CSV file. Let's open it. OK, and that is data that has uh, the population information. Let's say that we want to use uh, the name equals name. OK. OK, and you can see the first row is not recognized, uh, which is fine. OK, uh, so now let's go back to our sheet. So right now we have two data source. OK, uh, you can see that this one is a ship file that uh, related to uh, population data. And this one is our original um, data that is the non-spatial data. So now let's see we want to create data map based on this spatial data. So let's drag geometry to our map. OK. So now we have this uh, polygons. Uh, we can now uh, put the uh, population onto this map. So that is um, from this population data. And this one is a population. So let's to that one here. You can see uh, by default, we have the total population of the entire country. OK, uh, so we can divide that one based on a uh, different uh, state. So let's now drag the state name into details. OK, so now we can see the OK, for each state, that what is the total population? OK, uh, if you like, uh, you can also drag names to the labels. OK, so that we will show the state names on the map. Uh, let's undo that. OK, so here we have a, a, a core class map. And let's fill out uh, data. OK, um, so now. Let's say that we want to also visualize the number of people being killed on this map. So how can we do that? So in this case, this is where we can use the Blender. OK, because Blender means that if we want, we can combine data from different resources. OK, so right now we are using this spatial data, which has this uh, green icon. So that means this is a primary data on this visualization. And if we go to data, and let's say we want edit the blend relationship. OK, so we the primary data is right now this one. The secondary data that is here, that is uh, the gun violence data. Let's edit the relationship. So customer, customer, and also add. We see that the name equals the state name. OK. The name from primary source equal name from the secondary source. Let's hit OK and OK again. OK. And now it's, if we go to uh, the secondary data, and now you can see we have this icon. If we click, so that means now we enable this one as a secondary data. So now you can see here. OK. Uh, this one has an orange icon, so that means this is the second data. So let's say we, we add the state as a filter. See if we can do that. OK. And let's also show this filter. Uh, let's use uh, a single row. Uh, 
not that. Uh, let's use a single value. Okay. Uh, let's see Alabama, Arizona. Okay. So now you can see both uh, those two data set has now been um, joined uh, or related together. And also we can use one data to uh, to make actions on the other data set. All right. Um, next. So can we also add those values into this map? Of course, yes. So let's say if we want to put killed into the size Okay, and if we change that one to circles, okay, now we can see we have the information that the people that have been killed. Okay, so here we can say that people have been killed are using the size, use different size, and the total population are using colors. Okay, uh, however, this is not the best practice because uh, you need to compare the colors and also the size at the same time. So now the question is that can we create a map that uh, we use color, the, the core class map as a base map to show the population. And on top of that core class map, can we use a proportional map that use size to indicate the number of people being killed? OK, so is that possible? And the answer is yes. OK, uh, so what we can do is that let's go back to the default settings that we have this core class map. And we can actually create a dual X map. OK, we can create dual X map. So let's hit press control key. And let's make a copy of this map. So now we have two rows. OK, uh, so this marker are controlling the map on the top and this marker are controlling the map at the bottom so for the bottom let's remove the colors okay instead let's put the number of people being killed to the size and let's use circle okay so now you can see that here we have a proportional map to show the number of people being killed and we have a core class map to show the population of each single state. So now if we click um, this peel and let's say dual axis. So now you can see we put two maps together. All right. And let's also change the colors. So if we let's see. Um, all right, like we have changed color one by one. So for this one. Uh, let's say we want to use, uh, I'm going to use a gray color. You can also choose, do you want to step your color or not? Okay. Uh, if you go to advanced, you can also change the starting number and also the ending number. Okay. And for the circles, so let's say I want to use um, the red one. Okay. Uh, and we can also try filter. OK, so now we have this map. So here we have three maps. Uh, this map is based on the non-spatial data showing um, uh, the people being killed at the city level. This one, we are using the base map from the map box that's showing the people being, sorry, people being killed at the city level. The first one is showing the people being injured at the city level. Um, and this one, we created a dual max map and where we are using the spatial data and also non-spatial data to show the people being killed at the state level and also population. So let's finally, let's combine all the maps together. So the first map, the second map, um, and also our third map. Okay, uh, so let's say move the the legend close uh, to each uh, map. And let's also choose the automatic layout. OK, the state should belong to this one. And this one also should belong to this one. 
Uh, this one also belong to this one. Let's see if we can edit the the title. Okay, so this should be population. Okay, and uh, we also have this um, control for the videos. Okay, uh, let's see whether or not that still work. Okay, it still worked. Okay, um, let's hide those titles, although that is not the best practice, just Let's just hide it to simplify the data. All right, and let's add a title for the dashboard. So this is our uh, lab six. Okay. Okay, and you can see for the heat map, uh, Tableau does not provide um, um, uh, the legend, which okay, kind of the issue. So let's also uncheck. Uh, those pins so that we uh, we want the tableau to show the automatically regions okay and now let's see for this legend or for this filter so let's say we want apply this one to all the related data source okay so let's see well we all this one work okay it worked okay so for example if I want to say different state Okay, and we can do that. Okay, so that's very nice. And let's see, we we'll see. Uh, now, if we go see all the states, we can see the patterns here. Okay, and if you show the videos, and also you can see the number of people being uh, injured. Okay, so that is for this lab. So uh, we talked, we covered a lot in this lab. So. Uh, we introduced how we can visualize spatial data and also non-spatial data, uh, how we can change the map layers, uh, map options, and also how we can integrate with uh, the map box. So where, um, let's say we have uh, some very cool, um, you see here, uh, layout, uh, the base maps, and also how we can create a dual max map. Okay, uh, so that's for uh, for this lab, so finally let's export this map. Okay. Oh, uh, not clear. Unfortunately, we have this go back button. Okay, export. Okay. Um, and let's export this one to lab six. Okay. So later on, we can also see we can publish our data to uh, Tableau online and also all Tableau public so that it will be a um, uh, online um, data visualization where people can see your visualizations uh, by using just use a browser.